It's time for another unboxing and review, adventurous ones, because we are continuing on the Motu Origins Turtles of Grayskull line with Wave 2's Raphael. Welcome to the toy review. It's time to get started. Another unboxing and review, my adventurous ones. I am your host, as always, the adventurous one himself, Joseph Michaels, the adventurous Joe. And on this one, we are ready to unbox another bilingual one, by the way, of Wave 2 of the Turtles of Grayskull, Raphael. And a lot of people are kind of miffed off on this whole ordeal because the Turtles should have been... The first, they, you know, the first in the line they should have done it with them in this specialized armor and everything they're going to be in now and stuff. Instead of uh, splitting them in waves. I mean, Donatello and Leonardo came out in wave, wave one. Raphael is the only Ninja Turtle in wave two. And in wave three, coming up in, coming out in July, or where some cases, some people have already got their hands on them. Probably got them through someplace like Paul Mart or one of them. Okay, and a doubly overpaid. Okay, but uh, the thing is, the Turtles, a lot of people say if it's going to be a Turtles of Grayskull crossover kind of deal, the Ninja Turtles should have been the four of them together in the first wave. Then you bring out the Motu origin characters that come follow. Instead of breaking them down like this. Now, much like Leonardo's packaging, like I said, all these are multilingual except for the Target exclusive uh, mouse jaw there. Okay, we'll be getting to him last as soon as we get done with the rest of these guys. But, these are all multilingual again. So in other words, no words in the comics. The mini comics are all the same for Wave 2 figures and stuff, just like they are for the Wave 1 figures. So if you got them from Amazon, be aware, they are not in English. They are multilingual and stuff. But on the back of the artwork here, you can see Raphael taking on Slash, but they call him Slacker, which you can get now at Target. The Target Store exclusive, it's another Target Store exclusive, and you can get him now on Target.com for $24.99. And in this wave consists of Raphael, Mutated Ram Man, Shredder, and Samurai Beast Man. And nobody understands why Beast Man's dressed as a samurai. Not to mention, it's the Motu Origins regular version of Beast Man. It's not a, it's not a new version and stuff. It's just the regular fit Beast Man figure from Motu Origins line. <laughs> dressed in samurai armor. Go figure. Anyways, that's all four of them in this line. Now we only got Raphael, Mutated Ram Man, and Shredder because Beast Man came in too early before my freaking payday and I had to cancel him. So I couldn't. Now I he's back at $19.99 instead of $17.99 when I ordered him and stuff and along with the rest of the wave and he is going to have to sit until I can get around to him. Anyways, time is money. And that thing, in the case of many things in this thing. Alright, we're getting there. We're getting there, we're getting there. Hold on. The mini comic wants to slide out first. <laughs> Just to prove it, to hey, I, you know, I'm still multilingual, you know, I ain't got no words in the packaging, ain't got nothing in the comic either. And on top of that, it shows Skeletor in samurai armor too. I, I, I don't understand that, but uh, there's no words in the comic, so I can't tell you why he's in samurai armor. <laughs> Anyways, let's get him out of the packaging. We don't. Ma it don't matter if it's getting ripped here and there and shit. It was already broken down, mess when it got here. Cause 
That's it, because uh, Amazon don't know how to pack. Half the time they don't know how to pack nothing. Literally. It's like they got somebody there that says, that, oh, this is just an action figure. Plop! In the biggest box possible with no padding. All right, all right. Now, let's get that out. We're done with that. You've already seen the card. Toss it down there. Now we got some weaponry we gotta set free here. Now Raph has got this glove-like thing here that allows him to, uh, I guess it's supposed to be like a glove-like fist with a big old side on it. His big old like side on it. That's kind of cool. And of course he's got a big old side in this thing too. Like I said, the one thing I do agree with people on and stuff is the fact that the Ninja Turtles being presented into this event should have been the first in the wave. Saying, okay, this is what you're, you're getting the Turtles looking like and stuff. But apparently, Mattel just had its own plans of uh, let's market it this way and uh, go from there. That hurt. Pinched. Alright, we're done with that. More plastic, goodbye. Now, much like Leonardo... Ow, dang, that really pinched. Much like Leonardo, removal and gear. You can see Raph's head this way and stuff. His turtle shell is somehow not really attached for some reason. I mean, it makes no sense on how the hell... That's supposed to be when the ninja, the turtles' shells are supposed to be attached to them, their bodies. Okay? Anyways, because of this big old piece of armor on him and stuff, Raph has articulated head that can go all the way around. Looks to the right. Looks to the left. Can look up about yay far. And then down about that far. In the case of the arm articulation, good elbow swivel, elbow joint is good, wrist articulation is good, arm articulation can go up about that far, down like that. It can go the whole 360 if this was not in the way. Feet articulation, much like his brother and all Motu Origins, you can extend the feet about that far, up and down. Alright. Leg articulation, you can push back about that far, and back down. Spreads legs about that far, and back down. Not too much to this figure. Now, let's put his helmet back on him. Because Raphael, as everyone knows, is supposed to be the crude rude dude. We're going to put his mm, sigh in his hand. His big old sigh. And this one is apparently supposed to attach to him like so. Put his hand inside it. Maybe it goes this way. Yeah, there you go. And then he's got it attached to his hand. Like a big old glove. Now, the question is, how well does he stand? Stands pretty good. Alright. So, comparison time. 
There he is with his brother Leonardo. Practically the same height. Cyclone is almost the same height as him. That's a difference. Rock on <laughs> is here. Let's move Leonardo out of the way so you can see him. Still short. <laughs> Still short. And of course, man at arms. Stands about that tall. So they stand just about at a good height with one another from the cartoon collection kind of deal. All right, that's actually kind of cool. And if you're hearing that thumping noise in the background and stuff, that's my children running around with their heads cut off. Literally, they're, they're acting like chickens with heads cut off. They may be fur babies, but they act like they're children. <laughs> Anyways, we think adventurous ones because of it being bilingual and stuff, and it's being it was seventeen ninety nine when I pre ordered it. Was it worth that price? Was it worth the nineteen ninety nine or nineteen ninety eight? It's being sold for at the stores. Let's hear your thoughts down in the comments section down below. And what are your thoughts on the fact that Amazon refuses to change the listings for these? And not tell people they're bilingual, they're buying a figure that's bilingual on the packaging and not the U.S. version of it. Let's hear your thoughts down in the comments section down below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming reviews in 2024. Lots more on the way and you don't want to miss out on a single one of them. So until the next unboxing, till the next review! Peace out. May the force be with all of you. Nevertheless, one of y'all have a safe, lovely, and beautiful week out there. Take care of yourselves, your family, your friends, and your pets. Loved ones in general. Stay smart. Be safe out there. And God bless all of you. And until the next one, my adventurous ones, I'll see you all.